Welcome to this Solid Applications technical video. During this session, I'm going to show you a brief demonstration on how to streamline your workflows when using some of the great features found inside of SolidWorks for handling imported data. Let's take a look at um, some imported data here. For this case, I'm going to use this uh, Parasolid file and open up inside SolidWorks. First of all, it asks me if I want to do an import diagnostics. Yes, just to check the parts OK and its integrity. That's perfect. Fine. Now I want to go ahead and do some feature recognition on this. So I'll use FeatureWorks, which is a right mouse button into a FeatureWorks uh, option, and recognize these features. Now, SolidWorks can do a great job of actually automatically out of the box recognizing these features. It will go through and it will recognize the feature depending upon your, your selection on automatic. And whilst it's doing this, it's, it's understanding and interrogating geometry of the imported data. So as you saw, that data had no feature history. And what we're trying to do now is, is add some to it. As you can see, SolidWorks has uh, done a good job here. It's created quite a few features. And if we do accept, its initial selections, it will go away now and actually start modeling these directly on the screen in front of you. As you can see, it's doing bosses, holes, cuts, revolves, anything you selected, and also any you know, planes it requires to, uh, to model for you. As you can see, SolidWorks has now finished its uh, automatic recognition, it's done a great job. All the features are there, but as you can see, there's quite a few features in the history tree here. So, in real terms of modeling, we wouldn't really want to, to work like that. And we can actually, if we open up a new file, do our own managing of how SolidWorks does it. So we'll do the same process. We'll um, accept the import diagnostics. And what we want to do now is we want to manage a little bit more, so we have more control still using the automatic features and how this feature works and recognize features tool will do this for us. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take off the extrudes and revolves and I'm just going to pick out holes, fillets and chamfers to start with because once we've cleared those up we have a cleaner model to work with and it can recognize features better. This is sort of reverse engineering so as usually in modeling best practice would have these at the end of the tree. This time we want to bring them forward because we're going backwards in this. So SolidWorks now again is, is, is looking through this uh, piece of geometry and it's looking for the holes and the, the, the chamfers and, and the fillets found upon this part. And whilst it's doing this, we just remember this originally is, is, is dumb data. It's come through from a download or from a, a customer. So we're really using the intelligence here to, to find some more features. So if we look at these holes, we've got the three different holes, three different sizes. It's recognize them as groups. Same with the fillets and chamfers. If we now go back and allow SolidWorks to take those features and already recognize them, it's bank them. Now we can control how we want to look at this. We take these off and we want to look at extrudes, but I want to look at local extrusions. So I'm just going to look at these bosses here. I can see on the model they're the same. So I want to treat them the same. I don't want it to go off and do something different. So if I go to next again, it will do the same process. But what I can do now, if we look at these individual extrudes, if I group select them, I can actually combine those features to one. Now here, I can uh, carry on, move forward, or I can, if I didn't like that, I can cancel and go back to the, the previous screen. In this case, I'll move forward. Again, I'm looking at extrudes. But I'm also going to add revolves now because I want this to be a revolve feature as well. So if I click next, SolidWorks is now going to add the revolve features as well. And it will use basic intelligence of modeling procedures to look at these, how it's built. So if we look at this now, we've got cuts on these edges here. Actually, these cuts here, again, like the, the, the previous features are grouped. If I feature select or uh, combine all these features together, I've got all my features recognized and the model is now fully understood. If I accept that, it's going to build it on the screen like it did in the first demonstration. But quite quickly, 
compared to the other feature recognition, it's actually creating a, a geometric model with a, a shorter feature tree. As you can see, this is much more manageable and easier to, to work on moving forward. Thank you for watching the video. Keep your eyes peeled for new goodies coming along on the Solid Applications blog and our YouTube channel.